I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Friday morning, the 24th of February, 2023, and this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. If we go to the first book of Corinthians, chapter 15, and I am reading from verse 5. He was seen by Cephas, that's the other word for Peter, then by the twelve. After that, he was seen by over 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain to the present, but some have fallen asleep. After that, he was seen by James and then by all the apostles. Then last of all, he was seen by me also as by one born out of due time. Oh, yes, he is alive. Jesus is alive. You know, folks, I see him everywhere. I see him in a baby smile. I see him in the faces of two young people who have fallen in love for the first time. Oh, and I see him in the weathered, lined faces of a content old couple sitting on a park bench, still in love with each other. I see him on the farm. I see him in a new crop bursting through the ground after a beautiful shower of rain. I see him in the proud mother cow as she has just given birth to her newly born calf. The calf is standing up very shakily, looking out at the beautiful world for the first time while her mother is lovingly cleaning her. Oh yes, Jesus Christ is very much alive. I want to share with you an account that I read just the other day of a young five-year-old child that was trapped under the wreckage of the Turkish earthquake, had been trapped for 112 hours. The journalist asked the young child, didn't you feel hungry? The child's response, word for word, was as follows. Every once in a while, someone dressed in white, makes me want to cry, would come and give me water and feed me. Jesus is alive. Call on him today and he will feed and he will give you drink and he will keep you strong until he comes to take you home to be with him in glory forever. Have a wonderful day and Jesus bless you. Goodbye.